Gentlemen, our next contest this evening is a special attraction. Frank Warren proudly presents six three-minute rounds in the welterweight division. Firstly, in the blue corner, weighing in 10 stone, three pounds, wearing the white and red and black shorts with a record of 19 wins from 25 contests. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting and introducing from Wolverhampton, Steve Saville. Across the ring, in the red corner, weighing in 10 stone, three pounds, wearing the blue shorts, is a man who stands alone in his amateur achievements. As an amateur, he has won championships at every level from schoolboy to senior, including the Junior Olympics and two ABA championships. He holds an impressive record of never having entered a competition without winning a medal. And in 2007, he achieved an honor, an honor never previously won by any British boxer when he became the first to win the World Amateur Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from Birmingham, currently undefeated in three professional contests, all three inside the distance. The former world amateur champion, Frankie Gavin. Your referee in charge of tension is Howard Foster of Doncaster, who will now give his final instructions to both boxers. Right, so both know the rules, keep it clean, reach straight away when told. Both of you watch your heads, mate. Both of you watch your heads. Good luck to you both. Ladies and gentlemen, six three minute rounds. So maybe the first real test of Frankie Gavin's professional boxing career here in Liverpool. He meets a man with a decent winning record, Steve Savile, 19 wins, just the six losses. Gavin, of course, is 3-0. Uh, All those three wins coming inside the distance as well. Thirty-three-year-old from Warsaw, Steve Savile. He's good enough to uh, win a Midlands Light Welterweight Championship. And he took part in the contender. Well, he lost in the first round. That was earlier this year. Gavin, of course, is uh, a genuine contender, having won a, an amateur world title. His favourite for gold at last year's Olympics as well. He didn't make the trip because he uh, didn't make the lightweight limit. I'm delighted to see you. I'm joined ringside by Colin Hart. Good evening, Colin. Good evening, Ian. Your uh, thoughts on Frankie Gavin? Well, Frankie Gavin's got the pedigree. Um, the only British amateur to win a world title. And, uh, he, and he did that in Chicago. And of course, we have high hopes of him. He's, after three fights, uh, it's very difficult to tell whether he's going to mature into a uh, world title contender in the professional uh, boxing. Um, he looks the part, but uh, I, you know, I think it's no secret he likes a, a party now and again to sell uh, Frankie, and if he can keep away from, uh, shall we say, the celebrity lifestyle, he could go a long, long way.
He trains up in Manchester and uh, is due to fight again in Newcastle on the 5th uh, of December on the Khan uh, world title bill. And uh, he said he's not going to celebrate if he wins tonight. Go straight back into the gym on Monday. So maybe he's learned that if he's going to make it as a professional, he's got to be 100% dedicated. Well, train by Anthony Farnell in Manchester, and Farnell is very, very excited about his talent. This is our first six rounder tonight. You get the impression that there's a lot more to come from Frankie Gavin. He's certainly been on top in this round against uh, Steve Savile. There's around 15 seconds left. But Farnell, every time you speak to him, he's genuinely excited about the talent that he has on his hands in Gavin. He says he's punching a lot harder now, and he's really beginning to settle into the professional style of things as the bell goes for the end of the first round he's not looking character isn't he uh, mr savile colin when he's going all he's doing right listen to farnell in the corner all the time greg get that off your steps to his left right pop yeah right up don't look at though sometimes you stay in there a bit too long yeah you stay in there a bit too long you work in there you're listening listen what do you mean Uh, Farnell's picked up that uh, a right hook to the body uh, in that opening round hurt Savile. And uh, more, I suppose he's asking for him to uh, whack him there a few more times. I tell you what, he's a strange build, isn't he, Savile? Mm. He's, uh, shall we say, built like a miniature brick outhouse. Wide as he's tall. A very unusual build for a boxer, isn't it, Colin? Yeah. Usually there. It looks like a weightlifter. Yeah, no, no, short and stocky. Heavily tattooed as well. He's in the uh, the black shorts with the uh, St George cross on them. Frankie Gavin's in the in the sparkly blue shorts. He might have an Irish tricolour on there and a Union Jack somewhere too. See Gavin employ that the right hook. Farnell was saying that every time uh, Steve Savile moves, it's to the left. And he's uh, prone to a, a right hook. There it is from Gavin. He's covering up well, Steve Savile. He's not showing much ambition at the moment. Just having a one look thing at about Gavin. Yeah, one thing I like about Gavin, he picks his shots, he doesn't waste any. Nope. He waits for an opening before he throws. The other fighters expend a lot of energy hitting the air. He's got several trapped in a neutral corner and he's not letting him out. Well, that was a good shot as well. Good long uh, right hand there from Gavin, uh, left hand from Gavin. Pebbles managed to dance his way out the corner at last. But he's on the defensive all the time, backing off into the ropes. Get the impression one or two of these body shots he might be starting to wing their way home. He might get his hands down as well. Banging in those body shots, uh, Gavin. There's another one in there as well. Oh. Savile, he's uh, felt one or two of those, didn't he? Just took yeah. a backward step. Now he's on the floor. No, he got thrown on the floor. I don't think so. I think it was a body shot, wasn't it? Delayed reaction. Oh, he took. You know, he, he, I thought he was thrown on the floor, but the referee's taken up the count. No complaint from Savile. Right? No, he's had enough. He asked him if it was okay, and Savile must have said, "I've had enough, ref." It's funny, Savile just uh, for a split second he was disappointed and he just nodded at the referee as if to say, yep, that was a good call. Another impressive stoppage for Frankie Gavin. That's four from four. Body shots held the key in that fight. I think we'll see on replay. It was a, a flashing 
punch to the body. And a delayed reaction from Savile. That's why it looks as if he was thrown to the floor. Here's the replay. It was a right hook to the body. It was a delayed action, wasn't it? Yep. That's we just see it I here. Thought, I thought he was thrown to the floor. He threw a punch and then fell over. <laughs> Savile threw a punch in retaliation and then fell over. But it was the effect of that right to the body. It had a delayed effect on him. Gentlemen, and two minutes, 32 seconds of round two, the referee, Howard Foster, stopped the contest. Indeed, that Steve Savile was in no position to continue. The winner in the red corner from Birmingham.